obsessed with music because you showed up. Thank you. Uh, I do have a new song out this weekend, however out means these days. Um, and anyway, I, I wrote it um, after a therapy session that I had with one of my adult kids who I'm very close to, but revisiting their teenage years and trying to figure out all the ways that we derailed. That all came out in this therapy session. So uh, anyway, life is so funny. You know, you can't, um, yeah, it's, it's so beautiful. And, and writing songs for a lifetime, I started at 15, I'm 62 now. And you can't help but, like, you look at life differently at every turn. And I remember when I was, I, I must have been in my 20s, maybe my 30s. And I remember seeing Tina Turner on the stage, and she was in her 40s by then, early 40s. And I turned to my friends, I said, I can't sing like that, I can't dance like that. If I'm still on stage at 40, drag me off, I got no business. <laughs> Come to find out, I don't know how to do anything else. So, <laughs> and you all showed up for better or for worse. <laughs> but come and look. I can. Can we hear the bass of the other band? <laughs> That's awesome. You think they can hear us? <laughs> My kids have survived me, and, and that we are all engaged in knowing each other as adults. And so, I guess this song is written for by me for my child, uh, along with Barry Dean and Natalie Hemby. They sat down and just said, "Start talking the therapy session," and they're writing it down. Anyway, uh, they are such great songwriters. I'm grateful they helped me capture this one. And uh, anyway, enough yakking. I'm just gonna say. We must look like a couple of strangers Sitting in a quiet room You've been studying the patterns on the curve I've been studying Building higher walls, I kept busting through. We've been on this same road together, but somehow got a different view. I thought I was telling you I loved you. I thought I could make it up with words. I was trying so hard to 